ஏ ஹலோ எவ்ரிவன் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் எஸ்ஏபிஎஸ்டி அண்ட் அபேப் லீக் சப்போர்ட் இட் இஸ் கண்டினியூஷன் சீரீஸ் ஆன் எஸ்ஏபிஎஸ்டி ரியல் டைம் சினாரியோஸ் டுடே ஆல்சோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ஒன் மோர் பிஸ்னஸ் அக்ளைண்ட் ரிக்குவயர்மெண்ட் ரிலேட்டட் டு ஐடா கோன்லி okay so here there is a one custom text type has been created and it is populating in the order so business wants to share those custom text id data to the ida as well so this is the requirement now so whether we can achieve it through standard behavior or we need some custom changes or not let me tell you whether we can go ahead with the custom behavior custom code changes or it can be achieved through standard code only okay i have one order with me 21075 let me go to the header of this order and text tab okay so you see in terms of delivery is test is there and okay let me show you in the ida as well right so okay so this order contains one output type zrr it is an art response output type medium is 6 and uh, let me show you the idoc for that order output hmm okay you see here okay remember the segment here same so as we discussed in our previous um, session the message type is o r d r s p o r d e r s p okay mm yeah let me show you that logical message yeah or drsp okay okay this is a message type and uh, basic type is or dr 05 okay so this will be trigger through an output right and the segment which will be populating the text data in the idoc that is even edk t1 okay remember the segment e1 ed k t1 header segment to populate header text this item text that might be e1 edp t1 okay if it is an item then that is e1 edp t1 e1 edp t1 or item text okay so if you see this um, um order so we have two text ids has been populated in terms of delivery test has been maintained data here and uh, dsd signed by so here also test has been maintained but here the dsd signed by is a custom segment let me show you that okay you see here dsd signed by is a custom segment that means is added by ourselves only is a custom is a g segment g segment means we added this segment as per our requirement here it's not a standard segment standard text id here we added this one and in terms of delivery Uh, that is standard only 
double zero double one. Okay, this is added by us only. Okay, it's a custom text ID. So business requiring that I want to populate some data into the custom text ID in the order header, and same data should be transferred to the order response IDAC. So this is the requirement here. But when I analyze this requirement, I understood that whether is it a custom require custom text ID or standard text ID, whatever it may be, the standard code, standard program will by default retrieve all the text data from order to the IDAC. It won't. Uh, it won't do like uh, only I will populate the standard text ID data in the IDAC. No, it will populate everything. It will populate everything in the IDAC. And it is one of the interview question as well. So they might ask you that. Uh, so this this might be interview question in case of order output or delivery output or invoice output, whatever the output. And if that is an uh, IDAC output, right? In that case, if any custom text ID has been added in the order delivery or invoice, whether that will be populated in the IDAC automatically or any coaching is required. So this is the interview question. So we can strongly and boldly say that it's an standard behavior to populate all the text data from the transaction order delivery or invoice to the IDAC. It doesn't matter whether it's a custom or standard segments, I mean text IDs. They'll populate everything in the IDAC. No code change is required here. So no code changes required here to populate this custom text ID data into outbound IDAC. So it might be an IDAC relevant to anything. To order, delivery, invoice, anything. It might be anything. So it will populate as per standard behavior. No code is required here. Okay, let me show you that uh, code as well. Okay, let me open this. Uh, um, yeah, you see here, there is one perform called header text, right? So this is the this is where it will populate the E1 EDK T1 segment. Okay, let me tell you this. Uh, this is that include program. So if you come across any issues in the IDAC. Then you can debug it. Where we can apply breakpoint? This program only. Okay. Remember, this is only for order response IDAC. If any issues in the order response output, then we can apply um, breakpoint on any of these segments. So here we see several segments, several performs are there. Each and every perform is relevant for each and segment to populate. So this segment is responsible to populate the data into E1 EDK01 segment. And this is responsible for E1 K03, right? Like this, each and every performance is responsible for each and every segment data to populate. So we need to understand which segment there is an issue, then we should apply breakpoint on that perform and debug it. So yeah, in the line of 114, we see one perform called fill header text. Double click here. And you see here, so the data are getting populated here only inside this loop statement, loop xt head. And uh, yeah, if you go inside this uh, even indicate even, okay, you see, as I told you, right, even indicate even is the data of header text data. Hmm. So here it is filling that. 
and if you want to add any custom logic <coughs> then you can add and say this perform customer function right okay fine uh, guys uh, this is about this requirement today and we'll meet in the next video thank you guys see